To begin MIDI timecode, you want to first download Loop MIDI. You want to press create a new port and name it whatever you want. You then want to load up Reaper and then go options, preferences, then make sure your MIDI port is enabled under hardware settings as well as MIDI outputs. You then want to go insert SMPTE timecode generator and then expand that as far as you want. Then right click on that track then go source properties, then send MIDI. You can then go to the bottom left corner, press source, and make sure you're putting out your MIDI port. To add music into Reaper, you can click and drag any audio file that you want. I like to put it a couple seconds later so that I can go into ETC and have time to start pressing my cues. Once you've loaded up ETC, then you can go into setup, system settings, then under show control, make sure SMPTE is turned on, as well as all of these settings. You then want to click the little plus button on the tabs list. Then you can look for show control, which should be in the middle column. Click it, and then once you load it up, it should look like this. You then go event 1, then click on type, and then up at the top right, click the keyboard button, then look for MIDI, and click on MIDI. You could also use the shortcut Alt 2. The type is now MIDI. You can also go ahead and delete event 1 by just going delete 1. Then click on event 1 and then go up to the keybind settings and then look for learn and click learn. As you can see at the top it now says learning. You can now go into Reaper and at the bottom left hand corner click play. You can then go into your cue list and press space every time you want a cue to go off during the music. As you can see, all the cues were recorded with their timestamps. You can now go back into Reaper and press play at the beginning and it will play through all your cues whenever you want.